we're going to be breaking down how to use the pull ace from the Kansas City Chiefs playbook. For those of you who are new to our YouTube channel, uh, our YouTube channel is here to serve the purpose of making you better at Madden NFL 16. We do that through uh, fostering a community of continual improvement. That's the goal. And uh, so we just try to give you as many strategies and tips that we can. And uh, right now, we're in the middle of our Kansas City Chiefs free offensive ebook. And basically what this series is designed to do is uh, to give you a little bit of an insight into what the ebooks are that we offer you. And uh, we try to offer you several different varieties. Uh, we just released a couple, and you can find those in the description. But we're doing this one for free, and we're giving you a full offense out of the Kansas City Chiefs. And we're in a mini scheme uh, series right now. Where we're trying to find, uh, you know, two to four plays that go well together that you can use at the end of a half to maybe, you know, change it up on your opponent. And that's what we're doing here from the Pistol Ace. So the Pistol Ace is a really interesting formation because uh, for a lot of things, but the primary play we're going to be talking about is the strong power. Now, this is a running play that is actually kind of, you know, used to be one of the staples of the community and now has actually kind of gone away. But we're going to kind of show you how to bring it back. So uh, first and foremost, you want to kind of identify the weak point of the defense, whether it be right or it be left. In this situation, we're going to want to run it to the left side. Now, in traditional formations, if you wanted to change a running play from the right to the left, you would flick the left stick on the right analog stick, and you see that your quarterback would do a butt pat, and then you could flip it back to the right or whatever. With the pistol ace, uh, what you can actually do is hit square, right trigger, and he doesn't do the butt pat, so there's really no signal or tell to your opponent uh, you know, that you're going to be switching up your plays. Now, once you do that, we can motion this receiver over, and we're going to snap that receiver over the pulling guard on the play side. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow that pulling guard to get outside, and that's also going to allow the running play to basically do a swap exchange. And what we're looking for is we want the wide receiver to block the defensive tackle, and we want the guard to block the linebacker. And you see here we get those pulling guards out, and we're off for some really good positive yardage. This play has potential to really change the entire scope of how you run the ball, in my opinion, uh, because it just does such a good job. And here we'll show you running it to the right side. And you see we're able to get those, uh, those seal blocks. And that time we didn't, we didn't have the numbers, you know, and that's why we probably would have. But, if, for example, if the defense flipped the play, it would look something like this, where the right side was now the vulnerable side, where we would motion uh, Demarius Thomas that direction and we'd snap him in that play side guard, and you see it's going to allow you to get some really, really good running lanes. The key to running the strong power is to not hold down turbo uh, whenever you start to run the football. Now, you can also use the play side receivers and kind of change it up on them a little bit. Um, whoops, I didn't, I'm sorry, I didn't do the right motion. But you can also use, you know, receivers, for example, if I want to run it to the left side, right, I can motion to Mary's Thomas, and they're probably going to think I'm running it to the right, but now we're still running it to the left. We're just going to snap him uh, you know, at the same position, though, and you see it's still going to give you a really good opportunity. Now, the cool part about this is that the run audible down is the halfback dive, and you are doing the same exact motion. Uh, we're going to bring to Mary's Thomas across, motion, snap him in that, in that kind of gap, and it's just an inside, inside run. Now, four, three stacks kind of set up to stop, you know, your inside off-tackle type running sets. But, uh, you know, if you're getting someone who's running a lot of dime or something or quarters and, you know, you don't really know what to do, this becomes a really good little option in my opinion. Now, uh, the, but the cool part really comes down to the fact that the strong power is really a, a good running play uh, that you can utilize. And I want to show you one other one that uh, we're going to show you here in a second. But as you can see, that's the potential of it. If you get, you know, if your guys hold your blocks, this – this can be a really, really good running play. Now, this is one of those formations that you kind of probably need a little bit better personnel to run, but if you have the personnel to run it, trust me, it becomes a really, really strong formation. Now, the other play I want to show is the halfback counter, and we'll just use some random plays on defense, but this is an inside power run, basically, and what we're seeking to do here is the same kind of motion. Um, and what you'll see is the same kind of motion, bring them to the inside, and it really is an, an inside power type of running play. Your your linemen are really going to focus on 
clearing up the inside running lanes. And this is something that a lot of people don't quite understand about this one, is the key is to run it inside up in between the tackles. If you try to bounce this one outside, it really is not going to do a, a, a very good job for you. Here we'll show you flipping the formation, running it to the opposite direction. But you want to snap that guard. You know, you want to get that snap, and then that's where you're wanting to see. you got to seal here, seal there, get it in the alley, and it's a really good running play. Some of these runs from pistol do a really good job against some of the more effective pressure schemes uh, that we're seeing in Madden NFL 16. And so this is really, you know, a foundation uh, of a really good little rushing attack here, in my opinion. All right, guys, so lastly, I wanted to show you uh, a couple passing plays. Um, or a couple ways to run a passing play. So corner post is our primary passing play. And the first way that we're going to run it is we're just going to put Emmanuel Sanders on a, sh a fade or a streak and motion him to the left side as if we were running the, you know, the basic run we've been talking about. But what you'll see here is we're going to snap it once he gets all the way out here, sets his feet up, and against cover three or zone, pretty much any zone defense. Right there, Josh Norman made a great play on the ball. But if they run, for example, if they're just running, you know, your basic cover three, right? That's what this is really good against, basic cover three. And what you'll see here is Demarius Thomas's pattern does a really, really effective job at beating that cover three, getting in a nice void for you to throw it. I don't use any pass lead for this. This is just kind of standard. Now, what your opponent's going to start doing once they see that you've got zone beaters like that is they're going to go to man coverage. And what we like to do for man coverage is corner post. And we're just going to, you know, run it kind of as is. You can put Demarius Thomas on a drag route if you want to. But basically Sanders on his little angle streak post corner is uh, going to do a really, really good job of beating that, uh, that, that cover to man type coverage. And, uh, the, you know, you can do some other things with this, you know, package here to do a really good job. Uh, against some of the you know more popular maybe cover two sink if you face that this becomes you know a really decent option as well but uh, at any rate guys the, the really power behind this is we can run this to both sides so if we flip the corner post we can run Demarius Thomas in motion to the left and they're going to think we're running it but in reality we're just running a little basic you know pass play and all of a sudden you know they're in their corner their cover two and we're able to pass lead up that corner route Peyton Manning can't make that throw anymore but you know, if you have a good quarterback that can make that throw, you know, this becomes really viable. Um, and then one other thing I want to show you, if you, if you want to try it, is putting, you know, corner post, putting Sanders on a streak. And if they run to cover two or cover three, Sanders, or uh, this corner out route should get open. Um, you want to pass lead it up, but it is kind of a tight throw. So, you know, definitely have some caution with it. But in my opinion, it does a really good job. And... Like I said, guys, I mean, you're mixing these, you know, basic passing concepts in with a very strong running game, and that's really where we're wanting to make our money with this formation is good, strong inside running from the counter, good outside running from the strong power. Uh, and one other way to run the counter is to bring the wide receiver all the way in motion out here to kind of get a little better seal, and then you can get up into that, up into that middle ground there. So, uh, but guys, that's the pistol ace. That's pretty much what I do from it. And, uh, you know, we'll have some gameplay towards the end of this that really show how to use the uh, Pistol Ace. We'll have some videos come out, and, and we'll have that for you. But uh, anyways, guys, I wanted to thank you guys for being so patient with me. I've had a ton of, um, you know, stuff come up lately, some retreats and some family uh, events that I needed to be at. But, uh, you know, luckily we are getting back into the videos, and uh, you should be a, a video every day now. So make sure to be checking our channel if you haven't subscribed go ahead and do that and also there's a playlist in the description that's going to help you watch all of the other videos from the uh, Kansas City free offensive guide so if you have any questions or types of videos or types of things you'd like to see addressed please leave me a comment and, uh, and I'll get back with you when I